Hello friends, welcome back to our kitchen. So today the 12th of May is my birthday and I decided to make a uh, plant-based, gluten-free, yeast-free, baking powder, baking soda-free cake. To our ingredients, our main ingredients are bananas. Here we have oat flour. I've just grinded some rolled oats which I had. Here we have almond flour and groundnuts flour. I roasted them and grounded them here in the house. Here we have desiccated coconut. Those are shredded coconut. Here we have our game changer, the psyllium husks. This will act as our eggs, like a binder. You can use chia seeds, which have been grounded into flour or flax seeds. Here we have roasted raisins. We have some oil here, cooking oil. I'm using regular cooking oil. You can use coconut oil. Here we have our sweetener, which is honey. You can use jaggery. You can use maple syrup. Here we have one tablespoon of lemon juice. And to our seasonings, we have ginger and cardamom. So those are our seasonings. And lastly, we have soy milk. You can use oat milk or any plant-based milk of your choice. So those are our ingredients. Um, we'll need a big bowl and a small bowl. We'll mix wet ingredients separately with dry ingredients. So we'll begin by our dry ingredients. I have poured the oat flour there. Next, I'll follow with the almond and groundnut flour. Remember, I just roasted them in the house and grounded them. Here we have desiccated coconut. It's also a dry ingredient. Here we have psyllium husks, our game changer, very rich in fiber. Basically, this cake is very rich in fiber, aside from being sweet and also flavorful. So there we've added our ginger and cardamom and we'll mix this evenly. And once this is done, we will set it aside so that we mix our wet ingredients. So to our wet ingredients, we'll begin by mashing our banana. You can mash separately and add in this bowl. So I mashed them here. I, this time I used a fork. I realized that the masher will need much effort and being that I am using a glass bowl, uh, it may be delicate for me. So right now I'm adding the honey. This will be followed by the oil. The oil will make it moist. So all I have to do is to mix this. Um... You can choose to blend. I only decided to make it easier. Then my lemon juice. And again, for your raisins, you can decide to blend them so that they be liquid. I really desire to see them in my cake, so that's why I left them whole. So mix this evenly. And we'll do as we always do with the baking. We add our wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. Um, so that's what I'll do. Meanwhile, as you're mixing, preheat your oven at a temperature of 370 or 170 degrees Celsius. I have my milk there just in case uh, the dough is hard. The milk will just aid in softening it. You can use water. So mixing gently, folding in the flour into the liquid ingredients. So I added um, some milk. The total amount of milk I added was a whole cup. And you're looking for a consistency that is not too hard, not like bread. And also not too soft and runny like that of a pancake. It should be 
a bit sticky but not runny so here we have our baking tin you just have to oil it for my case oiling was enough if you have one that can stick you oil you dust it with some flour or you can put parchment paper on the bottom so i'm transferring the dough to the baking um, pan and i'll allow it to sit for 15 minutes before i bake it i wish to tell you that this cake uh, came out very sweet i would really like you to try it um it's very rich in fiber it is safe for your colon so it will not rise much as you can see it is slightly thick it will not rise because it does not have a raising agent um here after baking this is how it's looking like still the same size but it has turned golden brown something which i really desired and i'm happy it came out that way so while it is cooling we'll make our frosting homemade frosting our main ingredient is the cashew nuts we have desiccated coconut we have lemon juice we have honey for sweetening and soy milk and we'll use our food processor so in everything will go the, the um, cashew nuts have been soaked overnight if you check in the description box you'll find the exact ingredients and so i've added my cashew nuts my milk there is my honey i only added a cup of milk um you can do less so while using the desiccated coconut i realized that the frosting was a bit uh, crumbly or let me say it was it had lumps um, I think what is ideal here is the coconut flour which will make it smooth nonetheless the cake still came out very sweet and lovely so just blend it at, until very thick and this is what we will use to just make a, a cream frosting for our birthday cake cashew nuts are good for their frosting since they have their natural fats and they also tend to be creamy yeah so i'm adding my lemon right now lemon will give it a tiny uh, taste and it will also help in thickening by when it when cuddling the milk it will after some time it will thicken when you leave it so that is what i hope to see um it's now ready you can pass it a little more if you wish to see it very thick either way now our cake has cold i've sliced it into half so that i can make um the cream i'll pour a little portion of the cream and then i'll put the other part on top and then i'll put the last topping so i also realized that i had put a lot of uh, milk it was very liquidy if you have a refrigerator you can refrigerate this it will become thick so i'm using my Uh, tools here to make the frosting on top so i don't have much equipment this is just homemade but if you have the very nice equipment to shape you can do that and if you have a refrigerator you can refrigerate to make it thick but this is how it came out it was very sweet and very soft I'm glad it was um, gluten free so it was not so dense um, which is often the case with gluten flours especially the brown wheat flour um, it was sweet and my plea for you is that you try this tell me what you think 
Remember when you're eating this, eat this to the glory of God. Remember to be a channel of light in everything that you do, wherever the Lord has placed you. If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. If you wish to see more plant-based videos, just hit the subscribe button. Bye!